Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at a series of shakers because you need a lot of shakers. Uh, some of these are good for recording or small ensembles. Some would be better for live ensembles or, you know, when you need to be loud. So I'm going to look at this line. All of these shakers are made by a friend of mine, Kerry Green, otherwise known as Shaker Man. That's right. And these are called Shaka Shakers. I'll leave a link below. Let's get started. So I'm going to go from, it's kind of like wine tasting. We're going to go from the light white wines to the robust red wines, or from the light end of the spectrum to the heavier end of the spectrum. So I've got this one. All these shakers are made with um, cloth covered plastic tubing. I'm not sure if it's ABS or some other kind, you can ask Carrie. And they have various kinds of shot, buckshot filled in them, BBs all the way down to buckshot. So this is a little guy, and I know some of these are gonna be wreaking havoc on my green screen, so parts of them may look transparent, but just enjoy that. So this is a little guy. Now I would probably use this more for small acoustic gigs or recording. It's got a nice light sound, unobtrusive. The pitch is kind of on the medium high side. Let's go on and see what the difference is between this and a longer one. This is like double the length, but similar filling. Looks like this. So right away, we're getting a little more of a slap because there's more material in this, right? So we're getting more of a of a kind of punchy sound. It's a little bit uh, lower pitched. And this could work for really well for just small um, acoustic music settings or recording where you need something really precise. All right, let's move on. Now we're going to move up to the reds. <laughs> This is more like a Pinot right here. So this one is uh, shorter and it's got a smaller size filling. So it's more sandy, if I could use that term. Uh, here's what it sounds like. So you can hear it's got more of an impact sound, even more so than our smaller one, but similar. And uh, yeah, it's a great all around shaker. This would be a great place to start. If you don't have any of these shakers yet, really good all around shaker. We're gonna move on something a little more gritty. So the filling in this one, as you can compare, lower pitched, a little more coarse. Let's hear what this sounds like. So now we're really getting more into what I would consider to be live performance shakers, you know, some shakers that you would take for a live gig. Um, although any of these can be used, you know, in any situation because we have these magical things called microphones. <laughs> so volume isn't necessarily a factor unless you're playing acoustically. All right, let's move on. Whoa. Now I did a session once for a producer and uh, I wasn't using this exact shaker, but something like this. And I remember he said something that, that I thought was kind of funny. He said, man, that is nutty. <laughs> That's like a nutty sound. So I would, I would say this is more nutty. Let's listen to what this is. And this is more of a, you know, it's a little bit longer than the last one. And uh, same diameter, but a little bit longer, a little more nutty. Now, right away, you can hear this is quite a bit louder in volume. So if you are playing acoustically or, you know, you're playing with a bunch of musicians, group drumming, or even an ensemble, electrified instruments, then you probably want to go with something like this just to get your voice out there to cut through some of the other instruments. All right, let's find the last one. And you can see it's a little bit longer, a little bit, but similar filling, super nutty if I could go there. Now, I know parts of this are probably gonna be transparent, but like I said, hey, that's okay.
you don't want this to fall into the wrong hands. This is a powerful tool. It can make powerful music. Okay, so that is a an array of shaka shakers. And I just want, Carrie, if you're watching this, I want you to know the, these are not the only shaka shakers that I own, all right? I've got other ones. Um, if you at home or wherever you are watching do not have any shaka shakers, I highly recommend them. Plus, connect with Carrie. He's a super cool dude. I'll leave the link below. I'm Kalani. I hope this has been helpful. Go out and make some great music.